Just woke up from a nap. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, off. Gotcha. Good stuff. But yeah, no, uh, Chan and Sword is that, uh... Does that, uh, make it clear that I do indeed know <laughs> Studio Ghibli? The only JRPG I've wanted to play in the past couple years is that one Studio Ghibli RP like RPG on, um, on PlayStation. Where they did all where they did all the art for it. Kinda really wanted to play that, but I think I own it. <laughs> I think. Well it might sound kinda weird. Also, uh Bellinaire, honest question, just because I haven't talked to you since this became a thing. Um, what do you think about the new partner application thing? Like the how they finally updated it. I think it's now just as I, I actually I don't think anything's changed. I know a number of people who are like bugging me to apply now. They're like, oh, apply. Like the the, the requirements have changed. It's like, no, I think the requirements are still the same. They're just significantly more vague now. Uh, it might end up with, end with me applying uh, if Eggman actually does what he says he's going to do. One of my viewers claims he's going to write me an application. And if he does, I, I'll do it. Because I just, I don't feel like writing down the blurb of what I do. I don't know. I do not know. I think it's because you... Okay, what you have to do is you have to build... Um, you have to build and then build the water up underneath it. Yeah, exactly. It's like literally nothing's changed. It's still exactly the same. I mean, it's good that they finally updated it. They should have updated it a long time ago as far as I'm concerned, but... I don't believe it actually changed anything. <laughs> For like 15 more seconds, sure. Yeah, no, I think the way that zero clearance and water works, you have to build the track first. And then you build the water up underneath it. Like here, I... Um... Yeah. So what, what you have to do is you have to drop the... Yeah, yeah, drop the water down, build the water after. You forgot? Uh-huh. Good for you. <laughs> You're too used to the, uh... Park attack where you can just automatically build underwater. A bug? No. Well, I mean, maybe. I, I don't really consider it a bug. Building underwater isn't really intended in this game. <laughs> like, at all. Oh, hi there, indeed. How you doing? That building has kind of inspired me. Um, now, since Cyclone left, I think that I can make this area public now. Has Cyclone pieced out for a bit? Because he just wants to build roller coasters, which is fair. Recognized your icon from Builders and Managers Commander and Steam Curator Group? Yeah, no, he totally did. I had that same moment, Windmill. I had that same moment. <laughs> I was like, huh, I recognize that art. Hey, can I extend this train a little bit? Because I kind of want it to run through a building. Because I, I want to build something else in this style, because frickin' fog has inspired me to do stuff. Okay, so you're just going to extend the train that way? Fog just keeps on inspiring me to build buildings. Like, I, I, I don't actually build theme parks in this game anymore. I just build buildings now. Although I think I'm actually going to build a wooden roller coaster this park.
She should call herself Blind Mag? No, if she streamed, she'd probably call herself your purple socks. Or one of her various handles. Why, why would her handle need to be attached to me? If she streamed, it would be her own stream, not my stream. Ferris wheel one, what? I mean, I I own Repo the Genetic Opera, so I figured that you, that's what you were referring to, but no. <laughs> that's all I have to say to that is no. I, I if she if she if and when she starts streaming, I don't think her name's gonna have anything to do with mine. Also, Repo the Genetic Opera is pretty legit, just saying. It's pretty legit. Check the name. Uh, did you call them Planet Co-Carts? Oh, a Aesthetic Vapor Race. Okay. You need something on the ground. The ground is too boring. Like, you either need, like, a fence. Or you need a fence around it. You need, like, maybe some flowers or some trees or something. It's got nothing going on. It just feels kind of empty. Zero clearance, sure. You got your wireless earbuds in the middle. I, I can't stand wireless headphones. Never have. I don't think I ever will. I've had them and I've used them. I just... I don't like wireless mice. I don't like wireless keyboards. I just... Anything with a battery in it that can die, I just... It drives me nuts. It's just like, yeah, no. I don't want to have to charge my headphones. It's just the dumbest thing. You're impressed? Good. It's nothing worse than buying something and uh, feeling like you spent too much money on it. So it's good that you're impressed and it's good that you like them. Need another version of yep. Yeah. You always need to update. Also, Hellhound as well. How you doing? Um, well, we are definitely listening to Castlevania music. So yes, Bloody Tears is a very commonly remixed tune or covered tune. Um, so yeah, no, definitely Castlevania stuffs. <laughs> Sakudia? I don't actually know how to say that. Thank you very much for following, friend. Welcome home. It's good to have you guys. Can I please get a welcome or uh, a warm welcome in chat when you follow? I have no idea how to say your name. I'm being completely honest with you. Yeah, but even then, like, I, I don't like wireless. Yeah, sure, but, like, why do your buds need to be wireless? I guess that, that's like kind of my, my last question with that is like, why do they need to be wireless? There's literally no logical reason for that, at least for me. I, I see no logical reason to have headphones that are wireless, I guess. Hmm. 
and World's Geniuses, or also a uh, name I cannot read, <laughs> because it's in a language I cannot read. Thank you very much for following. Welcome home. It's good to have you. Guys, can please get a warm welcome ch in chat from a new follower. Please and thank you. What color did you use over there? I really like that green. Updated it? Can you have the secret password? The secret password is... Here you go. But Sakudia, how do you say your name? If you don't mind me asking. Am I saying it correctly? Also, Punkist, how you doing? It's good to see you, man. Really, the only piece that works is that one. I guess that's the piece that we're using then. That's fine though, I like that piece. It's a little tricky. Still haven't gotten the right version. Uh, what what did did you download the? Uh, uh, what's it called? The the non dev build like the stable version. Like what what did you download then? Where'd that piece go? Totally added it. Unless it's in here. I'm not seeing this one piece that I'm looking for. Huh. Interesting. Piece I want is like literally those. The. What he used for the base of that. But swear to God, I added. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. What did you use for the base of those, or am I going crazy? Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Is that, is that the one piece you're talking about? Yeah, you're in and you're downloading all of the pieces, which just made me drop a bunch of frames, so yay! Also, hey, trains! I mean, we do need a lot of scenery done. Oh, did, you did the... Okay, I, I see what you did now. I understand how you did that. I fully understand now how you did that. I feel like an idiot for not figuring that out sooner. Unless I'm doing this wrong. I might be. Hype train, yeah. Definitely hype train. Hey, typical. Thanks for that host, man. Yeah, I have no idea how you did that. Well, you've got me stumped now. Bog, you've got me completely stumped. Two two, chugga 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 chugga. There goes the hype train, guys. It's going away. The rapids do look neat. Is that the point? Is to make them barely visible? 
Well, I mean, you can see the tracks, but that's fine. Not very rapid -y. Oh yeah, you can start building coasters now. I mean, we've got two go-karts being built, so yeah, no, you can definitely start building coasters. Right, we mostly just, just make sure that you keep the, the tracks building, you know? Like, keep creating cool things. You didn't know what a hype train sounded like? I mean, obviously it sounds like choo-choo, chugga-chugga-chugga. Seriously, come on. Well, end that. Please, Roni, how you doing? Make it completely invisible. Change it to Crooked House? Wait, really? Why Crooked House, specifically? Still can't find this one piece that I'm looking for in here, and this is starting to really bug me. It's really starting to bug me. Don't want it to make, yeah. Try and keep like the like super complicated things like on it, maybe on a different server. Like I realize that people like building complicated stuff, but like, Is zero clearance still on? Oh, it totally is. Is anybody actually using zero clearance right now, or? Aside from me, technically, because I am actually using it right now for once. Does it look good? Yeah, no, it looks great now. I like the fence choice. I would do some. I would change the uh, type of entrances, maybe to the abstract ones, to keep them looking modern, instead of like ancient history. They're using it all the time. Okay, we'll just leave it on then. We will leave it on. That's what I'm looking for. Speaking of uh, metal versions, this is a pretty good metal version of this song. Even the vocals are decent. Nothing better than Castlevania metal. Oh, who can't? Like, seriously, why, why would you want to wait for that 60? Everybody wants unlimited objects. Like, the one way that you can make RCT better is just by having unlimited objects. Like, oh, God. We're going to be waiting a while still for that, but, man. Man, the day that that happens, it's like the entire game's going to change. So you'll have custom, oh really? You'll have custom entrances and exits? I mean, that works too. Okay. Yeah, let's do this.
Yeah, we're gonna have to do it this way. So that's gonna be way too steep. Let's use these roofs. There we go. So what do you guys think of the uh, Metal Castlevania covers? What do you think, Chad? I really like them. I think that they're solid. This one in particular just makes me super happy just because of the full vocalization. Don't, you don't get good vocals very often in uh, fan covers. Usually fan covers have terrible vocals. It's like an unfortunate like running trend with stuff like with stuff like uh, fan music and whatnot. That being said, if you do like this kind of stuff, OC Remix is uh, or OverclockedRemix.com is where you want to go. They got all of this stuff. I love it because a lot of the time it's actually the original artists coming back and redoing their own music. Because often, uh, or not often, but usually the way video games work, unless it's the music is licensed, they pay the composers to write the music, and then the game developer or the the studio behind the game owns the rights to the music at that point. They own the rights to sale and everything. Um, so places like OCR allow the composer to come back and revisit their old work, which I think is really cool. It's just so great because all of the music's just totally free as well, and anybody can just like grab it and use it. Assuming you give credit to OCR and mention it, which is why I'm doing that right now. Can someone please stop the dude building a tower over your rapids? We already have one of those, we don't need a second one. I don't know who's building that, but. We don't need a second one that close. Sorry to whoever was building that, but... It's not a thing that can happen. The one that I just deleted, <laughs> Shrank. Not the... I, I don't think the one that you're building. Because if you're working on this one, then... No, you're, you're fine. There was one, like, right here. Oh wow, I'm way out. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. You built on your tower? No, because th this one's fine if that's the one that you're talking about. But yeah, no, there, there was another one that was like right there. I can't read that. What does that say? Pray for tower. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mad. What, what, what? What's up? What's the server password? Uh, question. Uh, how much do you know about RCT? How much experience do you have with RCT? If I give the password out to literally everybody who asked, then the server would be a clusterfuck, so... How much experience do you have with this game, specifically? And are you capable of following the basic rules? Mm. Pray for Tower is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty funny. I'm sorry to whoever built that, but... Oopsies. Deleted one more than I wanted to. Not gonna lie, this remix is kind of terrible. So like Not a huge fan of that style of music. Okay. Not my jam. The metal stuff is much more my jam.
Uh, it's Ferris wheel? Where? Ferris wheel? Oh yeah, the Ferris wheel looks awesome. I love the way the Ferris wheel looks. I really, really, really like this. This whole thing is fucking awesome. I, I love this. And the roller coasters begin. Remember guys, just don't box us in, okay? You didn't know the requirements? I mean, it's not really requirements. I mean, it's more just a, can I have faith in you to be polite and be awesome on the server? So if you could just quickly just state, like, have you played the game before? Uh, how much time have you put into the game? Um, and are you capable of keeping things within the boundaries of realism? Keeping things aesthetically pleasing? Pleasing, do not ever kill guests for any reason unless it's completely by accident, which is okay. Um, yeah. Just to realize you've been disconnected? No! It's the worst feeling. I'm not gonna lie, that, that is actually the worst feeling. I'm actually just going to disable zero clearance for a little bit. Was it at least a glorious roller coaster? On the time that you had with it, Jarna? Yeah, let's just hop over here. Too. Progress is quick. Yes. That's why I, one of the reasons I enjoy multiplayer, because progress is quick and it you, you can get a lot of stuff done really quickly, assuming everybody's working together and actually, that's why I've been like asking people to work together rather than, um, that's why I've been asking people to work together rather than just kind of going off and doing their own thing, otherwise people just kind of... They, they don't work together and then everything just kind of falls apart and it just looks like a mess. But when I kind of force people to say, okay, don't just go off and build roller coasters initially. Let's, let's work together. Things look beautiful and I love it. It's cool watching people play, like, work together while playing this game. I, I really like that. Okay, let's do that. I speed low nausea swinging hanging coaster. This thing was glorious. Oh boy. Aaron, 3000. Good stuff. Um, sorry, I, I missed that. Uh, reading chat's been weirdly difficult for me today. I don't know why, but good stuff. Um, so what, what exactly what do you think of uh, RCT Classic for the iPad? It's, it's really cool, actually, that... RCT Classic is good, and the reason I say that is because it's it's by Chris Sawyer. It's not, um, like Atari like Atari proper. It's it's literally just Chris Sawyer. Like Atari published it, but the original creator made that, which is really cool. The fact that it's the original guy making it, not somebody else. You know that he's gonna do it right, because you know it's it's his baby. This is his thing. He came up with this entire franchise from the beginning, so. What'd you miss? Uh, not much. I'm just building buildings because you've inspired me to build buildings, similar to last time. <laughs> That's what's up. How do I like your part? You made the green looper. You mean this? It feels flat, but not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. No bugs, good stuff. Yeah, see, I, I'm a little bit, I do own it, but I bought it just kinda cause I like to support, or cause I wanted to support Chris Sawyer. Um, not because I actually wanted to play it, mostly because I don't own a tablet. <laughs> well, I mean, I do own an Android tablet, but I don't own a tablet that I would play it on or that I use frequently. So for me, it seems kind of pointless to try and play it on a phone. I just, ha admittedly, I just kind of haven't done it, but 
I'm a little bit worried about what the controls would be like on a phone. As I, I had some trouble with uh, the last... with Transport Tycoon Mobile on phones. But that's good stuff, Aaron. Also, um, I'm not certain what the, uh, what the progress is like on this, but I've heard people stating that, uh, Roller Coaster Tech, like, Open RCT, uh, which is what we're playing right now, um, will have a version for RCT Classic on phones, so, I don't know how that's gonna work, but apparently that's the thing that's being worked on. Hey, Artist, how you doing? Not so flat. I, I, I don't... You also did the motocross? I mean, it's still flat. What I mean by flat is you need, like, scenery, little bits of scenery around it that it's missing, you know? So, this, for example, feels weird because it's, like, kind of lifted up off the ground, then you just have a couple trees, and you're missing different levels of scenery. Like, the difference between a good player and a great player are, like... Like, let's see, this has different levels of scenery, I guess. Um, this is what I would consider different levels of scenery. Um... This has different levels of scenery. You need, like, tall trees, you need fences, you need ground manipulation, you need to paint the ground, and then you need to put down foliage, so stuff on the ground. Um, I know it already works on mobile, but I, someone was saying that they're, uh, instead of having to transfer all the files over manually, they're working on a version that's just, uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? That's just, um... Instead of instead of having to transfer all the files over, you can just use RCT Classic. I'm not I'm not certain if that's a thing yet, but I, I had someone in my chat talking about that a couple weeks ago. But I don't I don't know if that makes sense, Turtles. But that's that's the advice I would give on that. Let's try and make it feel less flat. But then again, to be fair, that's a complaint I have about a lot of. Uh, Planet Coaster things as well. It's like, oh, it's too flat. It needs to have more stuff going on. Also, my music ended, so I'm sad. Oh, really? Huh. I mean, but why the hell, what's the point in connecting a mouse and keyboard to a phone? <laughs> like, not, not to sound kind of condescending or anything, but why on earth would I ever do that? It's just that, that, that is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Connect a mouse and keyboard to my phone. Don't be silly. Come on. Come now. Don't be silly. Um. Uh, where's that piece? That piece. I'll translate that stuff to... <laughs> I mean, you know, if you can learn something from my babbling then I, I take that as a net positive for everybody. Um, I think this stream is tight. Cruise control is tight. Yeah, no, I, I, what's interesting about this game and why, why this game is still appealing to me even after all these years and how in quotes, outdated it is. Um, the reason this game is still viable to me and still very interesting is because of its limitations. Its limitations gives you... Um, well, it, it, the limitations of this game forces you to come up with stuff. It forces you to be creative, and it forces you to look at what you have and make the most of it. Which to me is that, that window popping through there and flickering is kind of creepy. Um, it, it forces you to look at what you have and come up with something new. Um, because the, 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 I think the beauty of this game is its simplicity. Um, the fact that, yeah, there are custom items, sure. There are custom objects, alright. But there's, you, you don't have the, 
like unlimited possibilities of a, a game like Planet Coaster. So you're forced to look at it and be like, okay, well, I have these items. What can I do? And that brings out some really, really, really interesting creativity. Like if you just look at the walls, the wall pieces in this game, would you ever expect someone to come up with something like that? For example. Oh yeah, no, totally, Pete. Totally. Because with Planet Coaster, you know, the game is designed to be fucked with. It's designed... Not necessarily to be easy, but it's designed so that you are forced to think about creativity. But this game, not so much. Like, this game doesn't force you to think about creativity. It just kind of puts it there. And then the skilled players or the people who are genuinely amazing at this game look at that and go, okay, how far can we take that? Like, how far can we take that possibility and how much can we do with it? You know, like what, what is the limits of the engine that I have here for creativity and how much can I create with this? And that's what's really fucking cool about this game to me. And that's why I love it. And that's why I play it as much as I do. Still, to this day. And will continue to. Because it's... It's endless, really. And that... The fact that a game like that exists, like... Just a game that you can quite literally just sit here and play forever. That is amazing. You will make your own limitations? Yeah! Yeah. No, I, I get that. Uh, sure. What you building, Fog? But you need support heights disabled. Ooh, I love the way I love the way this whole area flows together. That looks beautiful. Super curious to see what this turns into as well. It's the black building? Yeah, no, I saw you working on it. I really like this, dude. I really, really like the way this looks. This is super legit. Super duper legit. Also, uh, guys. Hey, Connor, how you doing? If you don't follow Typical, uh, definitely give him a follow. He's got a real good radio voice. He plays a lot of fun games. He also has one of the most interesting Hearts of Iron slash Grand Strategy streaming styles I've ever seen. Oh, that's gonna be fucking neat. That is indeed going to be fucking neat. Are you making a, uh, a zip line? Is that what that is? Or like a obstacle course or something? No, they don't. I mean, it, it, as long as you decorate it effe effectively, of course it's not gonna mess with the style. Are you, but yeah, no, is this a, uh, an obstacle course? Cause that's fucking cool if that's the case. Where you're, that, this pathway, just a heads up to whoever's working on this, in the center here, this needs to go over there. What are the colored grids on the ground? Um, those are, uh, used for kind of marking down different areas. So if I, if I go into this tool, um, they're just ground textures. So, for example, like, there, there you go, checkerboard, but, like, let's just erase that. Um, so, it, it's used for people marking down different zones of things that they're working on. So these, t these ones here, I think, are this, whoever's working on this ride with the, the 3D cinema in the middle. Um, I, I think that's Jarno, actually, because he said he was working on a hanging poster. Um, then, uh, but the idea is that you delete them as you build. Yeah, no, it doesn't need to be moved. Just this pathway needs to connect to over there somehow. Or to over here, because otherwise we're going to have people getting stuck at the end of that. The end of a dead end. Also, question, can I turn off uh, zero or uh, zero clearance and support heights now, or...? Uh, 
Also, I'm not a fan of that super dub steppy stuff. Well, no problem, typical. You put on a good stream, and I find it entertaining, so. The least I can do. I'm gonna take that seems good as a yes, so. Cool. Also, my favorite lamps in the game. are kind of a tie between these ones and then the black versions of these lamps. No, like, seriously, typical. Thank you for being a part of this community, you know? For being active in the community. You'd be amazed how many people start streaming and are just super antisocial. You know, like, they, they never go into other people's streams, they never talk to other people, they just stream themselves. And it's like, what, what's the point of existing in a community with literally millions of other people and then never talking to anybody? You know? I think that it's, it's extremely important that we all communicate and talk and grow as a group. Because that's immensely valuable. You like the train noises, turtles? Or do you not like them? I'm not sure. Is that emote positive or negative? I don't actually know. That wood wooden roller coaster is coming along nicely. I like it too. I like it as well. Looking forward to seeing that finished. Alrighty, Chris. We'll see you when you get back. Or later, or whatever. Any Mel, I think this is the latest you've stayed here, you know, for a while. Like, I don't think you've been here this late in a long time. It's good that you're sticking around, friend. Okay. We're starting to hate them. Not a lot I can do. I can turn down the game volume, but that's about it. To be fair, I do have the, um... I do have the, uh, music in-game turned off. So we don't- because I had people complaining about the merry-go-round noises, which blows my mind, by the way. Admittedly, it did get kind of hard after a bit to uh, play this game for hours on end while listening to the merry-go-round music. Not that I have anything against the merry-go-round music in particular. Come on, you. There we go. Let's just do that all the way around the base there. Cool. Better than the toilet? Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I think that the train noises are kind of like on tier with the scream sounds. It's like kind of perfect. I still just, I love the way the crowds sound in this game, you know? Hey, Typical, would you ever stream this game? I'm curious. I, I think it might be a good fit for you. Not certain it's something that you want to stream or you'd be interested in, but... Streaming this game has a great community attached to it, if you can get into it. I 
Let's do this, and I'm gonna put like a little covering on this. Keep watching, yeah? No. Have you ever played this game in the past? Because it's super chill. You know, it's... It's kind of a... It's a tricky one, I guess. It's a tricky one. I saw Colonel Will streaming this recently, actually, which kind of threw me off. I was like, what? Colonel Will is streaming RCT? For those of you who don't know Colonel Will, he uh, primarily does a fuck ton of uh, super high-level um, Factorio. You've never played this game, really? Huh. This game was a very, 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 very big part of my childhood. So between my stream and my younger years, I've probably put around 3,000 hours into this game over the span of my entire life. Maybe more. Which actually isn't that much compared to a lot of the more hardcore guys, but... For me, I, I count it as... I count that as a big number. Oh, you did Railroad. You played Railroad Tycoon. Gotcha, gotcha. A lot of people put, that I know played Railroad Tycoon. Were you ever a Transport Tycoon guy? It's a pretty big number, yeah. No, but I, I mean, I, I know people with like 3,000 hours on CK2. I know a, a friend of mine on Steam actually has about 5,000 hours on EVE Online. So, I guess our numbers like that are kind of, they're, they're relative, you know? List of stalls. <laughs> to guess which ones are yours. I forgot. I forgot the queue, sorry. Wait, what? Sorry if this bugs you. I mean, wait, what? That's a funny name. I forgot the cue, sorry. <laughs> the burnt remains of unicorn? Or unborn corn? The burnt remains of unborn corn, yep. No, that's, you're not wrong. The blood of the yellow demons? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a little weird there, are we? I, I, a lot of people played a lot of, um, you should stream some DCS. You know, um, you know Squirrel, right? Typical? Ugh. The Squirrel does all that shit. I actually, uh, a streamer that I know who I watch quite frequently, very comfy streamer, plays only Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's literally all he does. He'll be a pilot one day, and that's literally all he does, is he streams Microsoft Flight Simulator. Wait, what just happened? My camera was, like, only going to the left, or only going to the right, and it was kind of freaking me out a little bit for a second there. I mean, why, why don't you just stream it? If you enjoy playing it, just stream it. Because the simulation audience is fucking huge, man. He's a commercial pro pilot. Oh, that's awesome. I wanted to do that when I was younger before I knew how bad my eyes were. Then I learned it's like, yeah, no, you can't even drive a car. It's like, well... <laughs> well, rip that dream. Flight sims are neat to me. I don't know if I'll ever actually get into them, but... I mean, I've, I've got a lot of, like, a lot of hours in SimCity 3000, cruise control. Zero clearance, sure. It's, I, I, it's actually kind of handy, because that makes my life over here a little bit easier. 
I can put down more trees. Welcome to Willoway Manor. I literally just made that name up. Is it, is it a good name, chat? You know, like, seriously, like, just stream some DCS, man. That shit's cool. Why is it even built into it? Wait, what do you mean? I'm confused. Anyhow. Isn't there actually a flight sim that's based off Google Earth? I'm pretty sure there is. It's a good name. Oh, yeah, no, totally. But who really needs a uh, good, like, when you have, who needs, like, high land value when you have this awesome fucking mansion? Lullaway? I said Willaway. Not Lullaway. Lullaby. So, Treg, I, I've been trying to figure out what Tregloons means for a while. Is that, like, the name of a balloon stall? Because if so, that's kind of perfect. Hey, you, Toby. How you doing? Oopsies. Let me know when I can turn zero clearance back off. Your paths have gone white? Excuse me? You need a password? Of course you do. I <laughs> like to think of it as a cancer. Jesus, dude. That's dark. I love the style of these train stations. Oh, there's the last one. Okay. Oh, God, no. The people are there. They're just going to get run over by the train. <laughs> Run, peoples! Oh, did they get out of the way? Oh, nope. Rip. Okay. Oh, oh God. It's a massacre. Hey, Kenny. Your nostalgia. Why does it have to be nostalgia? Just relive that dream. Continue living that dream. That's what I chose to do. You know what? It was a good idea. We'll see you later, typical. Have a good one, man. When is this stream not rated R? R for rowdy, I guess. Someone's doing zero clearance and just connect and reconnect again. Oh, okay, no, I know what you're talking about now, Connor. Yeah, no, it, just leave, leave the server and rejoin. Cool stuff. Thanks, Vog. I totally missed. It. Yeah, I know, I totally missed it the first time. Radical, yes. R for radial menus and UI design. <laughs> Another thing about the uh, the land value being low is there's just like trash everywhere, so there's that. I, that ain't helping with the land value, that's for sure. 
Also, naughty shapes. I don't think I actually said hi to you. How you doing, Pharos? Uh, I sent it to you, you Toby. It should be in your whispers, you Toby. Did we start early? We started about 20 minutes early. I mean, not that much of the park's actually been worked on. Although, guys, I'll be a little bit honest with you. With the, to the people working on this area over here, this looks great. I love that wooden roller coaster. It looks awesome, and I'm curious to see what happens with this ride. But we really need a pathway coming around this way. We need to connect these two areas, um, or we're going to start running into issues. Wooden wild mouse near your mini golf? Wait, what? It's kind of cute. What about it? You don't know what you're doing? I mean, what do you mean? What, what, what about it? Oh, that. Hmm. Uh, who built this wooden wild mouse, guys? We need to change it so that it's rideable. Because right now, nobody will go on it because of the excitement. It wasn't there? It is there. But here, I'll send it again. Yeah, I see. 60. Yeah, it's the those two things at the end. No problem, man. Fuck that up. Oh, uh, was that yours, Addy? Sorry about that. It's easy to rebuild. There you go. It's easy to rebuild that. Also, guys, I'm weirdly hungry. I'm gonna go grab my sandwich. Um, it's just over there. I'll be back in a second. Yes, Cruise Control, we, we shall rebuild. We will most definitely rebuild. 